For a generation that demands safe spaces, that equates ideas they don't like to actual physical battery and requires trigger warnings for class assignments that might be upsetting, there's a name, snowflakes. Easily offended, they're turning free speech on its head in a way that's shocking even some civil rights activists. But is snowflake syndrome exaggerated? We hear all sides in today's cover story. November 2015, the University of Missouri. You're pushing me, you're pushing me. There's no more infamous and flagrant example of free speech violations on campus committed by students and faculty. Well, then we will just block you. The student on the left was bullied and blocked from covering a race-related protest. You need to go. Yep. Students, can you tell him how We don't have a right to take our photos. Actually, he does. I have a job to do. Okay, I'm documenting so what, this. What, what, this is the First Amendment that okay, protects your right to stand here, protects mine. You know what? Back up our private space. Back up. We need to stop. Keep going. Don't push me. All these things here are harassing. Excuse me, sir. 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 You lost this one, bro. Back up. You lost this one, bro. You're not doing your job. It's our right to walk forward, isn't it? I made it. Can I talk to you? No, you need no. to get out. Well, you need to get out. No, I don't. That's Melissa Click, assistant professor for mass media communications, about to call for muscle to handle another reporter. All right. Hey, who wants to help me get this reporter out of here? I need some muscle over here. Click was soon fired, but the event punctuated a growing trend intolerance and censorship in the name of tolerance Do you need to get out and free speech this is public property campus protests to block speakers from even being heard and a lack of understanding of fundamental constitutional rights you need to go so i do think there's a real knowledge gap about how high of a bar the first amendment really provides for protecting speech Lee Rowland is a senior staff attorney at the American Civil Liberties Union, or ACLU. Sometimes the ACLU protects speech that is considered very offensive. Absolutely. Have you found yourself having to explain, sometimes to a younger generation, why all speech is protected, not just speech that they want to be protected? Oh, all the time. I mean, I think uh, it's actually a common belief among many younger people that hate speech is not protected by the First Amendment. I, I have had people say that to my face completely uncritically, right? Well, we all know hate speech isn't protected by the First Amendment. For those who cannot bear to hear speech they disagree with, critics have popularized the term snowflakes, an insult traced to the 1996 novel Fight Club, later a Brad Pitt film. You are not special. You are not a beautiful or unique snowflake. We asked some university students what they think about the snowflake insult. Yeah, I never heard of it as snowflake. I just, you know, I just hear like my generation of people are just like just helpless. <laughs> I feel like in our generation that kind of is true. I feel like a lot of us for, uh, I feel like we're just really, really pampered and we're not really ready like post-graduation life. I've noticed most of the minority students that I speak to say they feel unsafe and I personally, like, I'm a white cisgender woman and, like, I don't feel the same unsafeness that they would feel just because of the way I look and the way I'm perceived by others. What about our protection right now? Last May at Evergreen State College in Washington State, students promoted a campus day without white people. <laughs> Brett Weinstein, a Bernie Sanders supporter, took issue with that, stating... On a college campus, one's right to speak or to be must never be based on skin color. That sparked student protests. Weinstein resigned and won a half million dollar settlement from the college. It's been going so hard for so long in a direction that's sort of insane that we can in some small way start to turn it back toward sanity. Maybe he's up to something that you're not aware of. Talk show host Adam Carolla, a Democrat turned Republican, says when he tried to speak about the left's supposed stranglehold on higher education, one college blocked him from appearing. 
Last July, he testified to Congress about snowflake syndrome. You need to expose your children to germs and dirt in the environment to build up their immune system. Our plan is put them in a bubble, keep them away from everything, and somehow they'll come out stronger when they emerge from the bubble. Well, that's not happening. Corolla is now making a movie called No Safe Spaces. Welcome to Utopia U. At Utopia University, there are no violent words to hurt me. I will punch you if you're a fascist. And, you know, the, the notion of stifling people who disagree with you and uh, is, as much as it all feels kind of good short term, like, hey, I don't like people arguing with me, um, ultimately, it's, it's, it's going to degrade our society. See, I never went to college. I was a, a builder, but I, I always thought college was this place for ideas. And now it's turned into a place for some ideas, but not other ideas. And that seems to fly in the face of ideas in general. So I'd be nice if college got back to this place of ideas, regardless of what the ideas were. When we come back, there's hope. We report on the flip side of the coin, a surprisingly robust free speech mentality on some college campuses.